It's an old sort of 1930s building with a sort of 70s edition, flat ceilings, plastered, um, really old tyre lighting and heating, really quite sort of dated. And it was in a pretty poor state of repair really. So I set about applying for various funding to give the whole thing a transformation. It's sort of split really into three stages, the first one being the main hall and this part of the project specifically was funded with the help of Biffer Award as part of the Landfill Communities Fund. We've uh, re-roofed the whole of the building and we were aware that there was some existing roof lights which could be seen from the outside but because the ceiling had been sort of overboarded there was no benefit of the light in the hall so we removed all the existing ceiling and opened it up to, to make it a bigger, brighter space. Um, which has then enabled us to put these roof lights back in and make it bright as Paul. We put new lighting throughout, uh, new heating, uh, and then new finishes and decorating throughout the space. I just think it's a really nice sort of meeting place and there's lots of very, very sort of disparate groups use it. So everything from, you know, yoga to the Morris dancers, Tai Chi, various dance classes. The trustees have got a very sort of clear vision that they want to turn it into an arts-led community centre. Alongside the uh, sort of the current users and the community groups that use the building, the intention is to try and introduce a programme of events of, you know, live performance, theatre, uh, bands, music. Oh, I think it's just marvellous. The changes, the community centre is wonderful and it's such an encouragement for the community to become involved in group activities, which I think in modern day they were sort of diminishing the, these groups, but now they've, they encourage this and I think it's wonderful. The changes are absolutely phenomenal. It was so run down before and now it's just lovely.